Okay. Try and destroy my character because you looked uh, with your own two eyes at my ass. I'm sorry, man. Are we forgetting the part where you literally bent over in front of him for the content for him to look? Huh? This guy got flashed by a girl in public and somehow she got mad. So the story starts with this guy named <laughs> Mitchell, I guess. And one day, this random girl comes up to him at his place of work and bends over and shows him the entire goods, straight out of like a corno. Then she posts it on her OnlyFans and basically labels this guy named Mitchell as a creep. Now, Mitchell has absolutely no idea about this until several- Oh, she put that shit on her OnlyFans? She has an OnlyFans? What? Months later, when some random guy who was subscribed to her OnlyFans nah. recognizes Mitchell, saying that, hey, you were in her OnlyFans. Now, Mitchell is like, like, what the frick i didn't sign up for this and he is pissed and he posts this video in response okay so a couple of months ago i was at work doing my job you know doing oh girl he is not into you permit. girl he is not into you <laughs> girl he is not into you bro he is not a creep bro he is not into you bro we can we can hear it and this girl walks up and she's t I tell me she's a speaker, but she, the way she's talking is very, like, it's different. She's being very inappropriate with me. She's talking like this and it just makes me uncomfortable. But I'm like, let me just try to do my job, you know, whatever. And then as I'm trying to help her with the speaker, I don't know if you can hear the thing, but I was telling her we could look at reviews online. She bends down to point at something and I see her bottom of her dress is cut and I just see her entire fucking <laughs> Keep in mind, That's side note, I am gay. I am gay. <laughs> I told you, she, I told you, he is not into you, girl. <laughs> I'm trying to make this nigga seem like he's a creep. He's not even into you, bro. I'm in the wrong neighborhood, wrong fucking area code, like, no, no thank you. Okay, so basically, of all the guys she could have picked, she happened to pick a gay guy. It's a classic <laughs> mistake in this type of content. If you're gonna try to frame a man for being a creep for your ridiculous OnlyFans promotion, probably you should make sure he's straight first, you mm -hmm. know, to, to have that extra impact as uh, him as a creep. And it was absolute witch behavior. Let's play the rest of this. Okay. And it kills me because this happens and I'm like, whatever, you know, I tell my, my leadership and, you know, whatever. Months later, around Christmas, guy comes to my job you look familiar and i'm thinking oh it's probably because i worked at two other locations in three years no only fans she put this shit on only fans and that's I, actually kind of nuts bro to, to put this shit on only fans it's not really like because like i'm like oh my god so i had to hunt it down he comes back gives me her at i find the video description of the video uncensored version on my page for four dollars uncensored the killer her bio minding my business girl no you ain't because look at where we are right now. Look at look at me. Just potentially could be recognized in this video that makes it like a pervert for the rest of my life, and you don't even care. That's here, so here crazy. I am the Jordan Strickens and me, and this girl's living in Miami, living her best life. Mm-hmm. Okay, so obviously that is absolutely horrible. You can't just paint a guy as a pervert on the internet when you were the one that walked up to his and place of work. And in the cut. general view of the public, you literally just bent over like a f creep and then showed your entire butt to him. Like, that is absolutely crazy. Now, you might be asking, why are you taking his word for it? He might be lying as well. Well, no, I know he's not lying about the situation. The girl literally confirmed it when she responded and uh -oh. got really mad about this whole situation. Okay, voiceover pegs this year. We're just gonna go over. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Now she's trying to. Oh god. All right, here Her we go. response here. I never been the type to explain shit, but ain't no white piece of shit finna try me. Oh, okay, god. starting off with some casual racism. After this, y'all can have this app. S A S uh, harassment. Crazy. I never touched or tried this man in any uh, sexual form, but to try and destroy my character because you looked uh, with your own two eyes at my ass. Yeah, she definitely just didn't. Because you looked at my ass with your own eyes. I'm sorry, man. Are we forgetting the part where you literally bent over in front of him for the content for him to look? This is Bend that classic over. shit where like a girl, like <laughs> I actually saw this meme where this girl, um, walks in front of this guy who's working out right it's a it's clearly a meme it's it's scripted and it's it's not like a, a real thing but he's like working out like this right and then she walks in front of him does a squat and turns around is like stop looking at me but as she turns around he's like this <laughs> bro that shit kills me every time bro. but it's like that bro because those are real situations where like they'll 
they'll do some shit on purpose for you to look and then get mad when you look it's like come on now in front of him right never in life would my of supporters want to see your trailer park trash looking ass pause fun fact of requires you to tag and take a picture of a person's id in order to post any content other than yourself in the platform i've been doing of for six years never in my life would i ever post a guy who likes what i like if you had a problem with the video you could have came wait hold on only re requires you to tag and take a picture of a person's ID in order to post any content other than yourself. Did you... Did you just incriminate yourself? Because you didn't do that. Life, would I ever post a guy who likes what I like? If you had a problem with the video, you could have came to me directly like a grown girl that you are and asked me to take it down, but instead you want sympathy because you saw my ass at work. Never... Or did this man mention that he was uncomfortable with helping me look at the speakers? Because he's doing his job, bitch! Oh my god, it's because he's doing his job! What are we talking about right now? Never did he mention he was uncomfortable helping you look for speakers because he's doing his job! The uncomfortable ha part happened when you bent over in front of him. Huh. Is that what was happening? Nor did he ever mention that my dress was too short either. He had This shit about to give me an aneurysm, bro. Nor did he mention that my dress was too short either. He's not the manager. He's just an employee. Who am I to tell you your dress is too short? I'm just an employee. <laughs> Out of touch. Happened to look and my photographer <laughs> happened to... He just, <laughs> okay, bro. He just, just happened, happened to look and my photographer happened to take the video. Yes, a that Happened to take the video, bro. You've been... You were recording... All right. Natural, normal interaction happening here. Now, about the stuff of posting it on OnlyFans, I guess, was it not posted there? I have no way of confirming that. But, uh, maybe it was posted on Instagram, but the point stands over there that you just happened to take a video of you bending over over a guy in public and him glancing at you when you spread out your literal ass in front of him. Wait, I assaulted you at work, but didn't get arrested at Target? Is that what I heard you say? I assaulted you at work, but I walked out with my purchased items and went and caught a flight back to Miami. <sighs> this is actually disgusting, bro. This is disgusting, bro. This is disgusting. Imagine a dude. Uh, imagine this the other way around, bro. Imagine this the other way around, bro. Just because you SA'd someone doesn't mean you're going to get arrested immediately for it. That is what you're saying? Right. So if I really did assault you, honey, then why did it take you a whole year to speak up about a video of me in a mini dress asking for help with a speaker? Because he didn't know that you posted it on OnlyFans. Okay, I'm sorry. for a guy looking at my ass is wild. I don't think you know the definition of essay. Still never touched the guy. So, okay. So then guys can go up to random girls and just be completely naked. In fact, they can flash anybody, just have their pee pee flopping out. Do you not know the definition of harassment you absolutely turd i'm a content creator and i never try to make people feel any kind of way about anything i could give a honest fless i could give an honest fuckless about us what that ain't even girl the, the the saying is i couldn't care less i couldn't give a fuck i could give a fuck means that you care that's like when people say i could care less if you could care less then care less about a instagram social media post i didn't do well with internet bs that's why i don't address shit i just private my page and go missing uh i'm a full-time mom married living my best life in miami let's not forget though the post was made on instagram just wondering how it goes from instagram to OnlyFans with no id now apparently she responded again in another <laughs> post basically <laughs> she responds bro. saying that you should actually be happy about the situation because you got five million views on tiktok and i'm actually giving you clout and relevancy and you should aye, be thanking aye. me for making you famous definitely should be thanking her for labeling you as a uh literal creep and a predator hey best these update the oh dumb gosh has responded and God. her response could not have been worse he got 5.6 million views he is pissed about nothing shut the f up take the free clout and get you some money you came into my job and harassed me okay you ain't you ain't gonna sit here and tell me how i am i am and i'm not gonna feel about what you did 
Okay? Let's let's clear let's clarify that right now. Regardless of all that, I am still trying to speak out against what you did because you are normalizing it and it is not okay. And you not feeling any remorse about it even after I talked about that is crazy. It is completely ridiculous that she it has the loud. audacity to be mad about this situation and to think <clears throat> that she was wronged in any way at all when she was the person who sexually harassed this guy. Like, you That's need to be in prison nuts. ASAP. There is no excuse for this. I don't care what sort of, like, fame you think you're giving this guy or maybe your entire, like, moral compass operates on views or something or i don't know fame or whatever in my opinion this girl actually just needs to go to jail because this is a crime and this is actually harassment here's what the comments are saying you need to sue her what but imagine grow a beard grow neck here <laughs> you know i was gonna say something about that but i was like look this is serious i'm not going to bring it up but bro the genders were reversed and you might recognize somebody on joey here as well Swole? joey swell comments this is absolutely not okay only fans should kick her off the platform for doing this there has to be some content policy she violated i'm very Shout sorry this Swole. has happened to you so joey swell follows up on oh that gosh. comment putting this on twitter putting this man's reputation and his job in jeopardy to make more money on only fans this has got to be one of the worst things i've seen on social media he actually diverts his eyes. He looks down because he's like, okay, what's happening? And then di diverts his eyes because he's like, whoa. This woman goes to this man's work. Shout so out, she Jason. can bend over and intentionally reveal herself to him to get him to look, film it without his consent, then post it to advertise her uncensored OnlyFans content. The only reason this man knows this video exists is because somebody came into his work and recognized him as the pervert that wanted that woman on only fans that is this sad. man works three jobs to try and make ends meet and you want to put that in jeopardy for what so you can make more money on only fans seriously so pretty yana uh -oh. i don't know the terms of service for only fans but i have to believe that this violates their content policy and i hope they kick your ass off you need to do better mind your own business Joey Swole, Shout as usual, Joey right Swole. on the money, is the absolute goat. And I I do agree, Shout you gotta hit her Swole. where it hurts. Definitely gotta get her OnlyFans banned because this is not okay. Also, gotta send her to prison because this is literally oh, that's harassment. Who, that's what she looks like, bro. This is not okay. Also, gotta send her... Oh my gosh, bro. She looks like a headache. I'm not even gonna lie to you, bro. She looks like a headache. Her to prison because this is literally harassment. But imagine the genders were reversed. Literally. That's the biggest thing about all this. If I was a woman and she was a man, everyone would feel so much differently. But because I'm this big, stout, six foot four fuck, this must be a good thing for me. I'm supposed to be happy that I was psyched work okay i gotta agree here this is yeah. a double standard that actually needs to go because imagine a man goes up to a woman working in a store and in full view of the public literally bends over <laughs> shows his ass to her or whatever the equivalent is i don't know maybe <laughs> it's and then he accuses bro. her of being the creep and then posts it to his only fans like it's such a straightforward crime he'd be put in prison his life would be ruined that mm, natural harassment so destroyed immediately the fact that she had the audacity to respond to this and say that it's helping his fame or anything that's absolutely crazy he did not ask for this nobody asked for this and you need to go to prison asap the guys calling you lucky are the type to do that to someone else i'm sorry people are reacting that way and you know in all of these situations when men get actually and there's this horde of guys that come out of nowhere just like oh i wish that happened it's like when when you hear those stories of like <laughs> teachers, pictures. right sleeping with 15 year old guys right and that's literally completely wrong completely messed up Disgusting. and uh, all the guys in the comments like oh he probably enjoyed it oh i yeah, wish that happened crazy. to me you are completely f***ing degenerate i don't know if you have brain you know, i don't know what the hell is wrong with you like in the kid Corn is ruining lives, bro, because that shit is not cool in real life, bro. These are the 15-year-old or guys that are underage. Like, they can't consent, okay? That's that's actually completely messed up. They don't know what's good for them. They're, they're probably just see 
like hawk girl or whatever and go ooga booga over there but they're not thinking with their head they don't understand the sort of dynamic going on there and how it can mess you up for life or anything like that and the guy shouting lucky are uh, complete rejects in real <laughs> life do not take their opinion seriously at all yeah, no, they would bro. probably probably somebody else if they had the chance you're probably just a completely ridiculous with person with absolutely no standards or morals or anything like that and you would probably sleep with any female you would ever get your hands on if you had the chance and you know if laws were different and you'd probably go for the miners as well. Like these people are just in the head, I'd say. You need to sue her, Nuts. what? So when they go for the overwhelming support, I think I was I was thinking I was gonna get a mixed bag reaction. I definitely wasn't gonna think it was as big as it was, but whatever. Um the problem, the problem with this is that Georgia is a one consent state when it comes to recording and documentation, that kind of thing. So oh, literally, like if anyone's ever recording you or um, you know, in any way, shape, or form without you knowing you know, only one party has to know about it. And usually it's the party that's doing it. That's kind of Basically, nuts. I have no legal recourse, at least not state. I don't know about federal. If there's anyone who's knowledgeable in law and pro bono, let me know if there is anything I can do. I just... I just, it does suck, but I don't like the, like, I, like I'm just saying, like, in general, it sucks, and it just, it, it's so commonplace nowadays for yeah. this shit to be happening. It just fucking sucks. And... That's so you know, crazy. people need to chill. People need to chill. Anyone know a good lawyer in the Atlanta area? <laughs> Bro, Sue, you'd make so much money for a defamation case. I mean, absolutely, this is a cut and dry case. If you if you have that video of her posting you on her OnlyFans, you need to download it and save it and then, you know, present it to the court. And I mean, this is this is a textbook case of defamation. Normally, it's really hard to Windows sort of cases, but if you have video proof, it's a done deal. She's cooked. But I don't know if he wants to go through the hassle of doing all that. Damn. Anyways, that's pretty much it. No more too, updates bro. here. Hopefully, he sues her and, I don't know, gets her put in prison. But, yeah, stop harassing people, man. That's that's crazy. Yeah, I agree, bro. This shit is just... It's really dumb, bro. I don't understand. I don't, I don't know. I think I think she needs a little bit more repercussions than what she got. And the fact that she, like, tried to... She tried to, like, dismiss it because he's a, a guy or whatever like that. That shit is nuts, bro.